Praise the Lord, everybody, and everybody praise the Lord. This is the day that the day that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. As you can see, I'm already excited. I'm stumbling over my words this evening. We thank and praise God. You know, tonight we thank and praise God for each and every one of you uh, that saw fit to join us this evening uh, to join the International Sunday School Association YouTube channel. And as you can see on the screen, Sunday School is big business. We are about our father's business, even in the midst of a pandemic. Before we get started, we just want to thank, you know, um, all of our subscribers. We have over 100 subscribers and we thank and praise God, uh, you know, for touching those people hard to subscribe to our International Sunday School YouTube channel. So we definitely want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed this evening, please subscribe tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And once again, we thank and praise God for all our subscribers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, as you can see, we have a special guest with us this evening, Mother Cynthia Ross Waring, all the way from Florida. And I'm excited in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know many of you are excited, you know, to hear what the Lord has, you know, laid on her heart to share with us uh, this evening. But before I hand the broadcast over to Mother Ross Waring, I want to give honor to whom honor is due. First, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's ahead of my life, to our presiding apostle, Apostle James I. Clark, to our vice presider, Apostle James May, to the entire board of apostles, the entire board of bishops, the entire board of presbyters, to our advisor to the youth, Bishop Reginald Davis, to our international Sunday school superintendent, Sister Dolores Griffin, as well as the entire International Sunday School Association staff. We greet you all in that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. So without further ado this evening, I'm going to hand over the broadcast into the hands of Mother Cynthia Ross Waring. Mother Ross Waring, the broadcast is all yours. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'd like to give honor to our Heavenly Father and our Lord, Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to honor our presider, uh, Apostle Clark, and his lovely wife, and uh, uh, the assistant uh, uh, apostle, Pastor Mays, and all of the apostles, the bishops, and the Florida apostle, uh, Apostle Groover, and um, Elder Copy Allen Abram and his lovely wife, Sister Yvonne Abram, I'd like to give honor to them in the name of Jesus. And uh, before we get started, uh, could we just bow our heads? I want to say a prayer that the Lord would just bless us. Father God, we come to you as humbly as we know how right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you that your word would go out and it would help everyone that here is, and it will actually impart faith and belief in you because our ultimate goal is to please you. Lord, we give you the glory, we give you the praise, and Lord, your words here in Matthew 18 and 18, whatever we bind on earth, you bind it in heaven. We bind up the adversary, we bind up any spirit that would try to block what we're trying to teach, and anybody that was trying to learn your word, Lord. We bind up anything that will block it in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we lose life, life more abundantly. We are receiving and we are believing your word. And we say thank you for enhancing our faith right now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, our main scripture is coming from Hebrews 11. And six, and it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And um, I'd like to define faith for you according to Hebrews 11 and 1. It indicates now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And believe is believing, just have your, your mind set on what God's word says. You're accepting it and you will use it to every ability to increase the faith that's being given. And remember the Lord said that uh, without faith it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe. How many of us are going around trying to please this person and that person and 
that position and that job. And what we ultimately need to do is seek to please our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd just like to thank the Lord for blessing us right now to have our faith increase. Um, there's so much fear going on. There's so much that's happening into our world with the virus and deaths and um, just shortage of jobs and shortage of um, just yet yeah, it's everything's not as smooth as it had been but we have the faith in god that everything shall be recovered and we're going to have eternal life with him um faith and believe is just an example the more god that you receive the bigger that you make god the more faith develops in you so our ultimate goal is we want to please God because I want to be rapture ready. I want eternal life with him. But the Bible lets us know if there's anyone sick and James 5 and 15 and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. That's the word of God. The word of God lets us know in Isaiah 53 and 5. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We've got to have faith that we want to be saturated with the Lord Jesus stripes. And um, a lot of situations happen in life. Um, for instance, our children can be going astray and we end up saying the wrong thing and thinking the wrong thing and doubting. And that's not good. He says without faith, it's impossible to please him. And we've got to know the word of God. Acts 2.38 says, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and the promises unto as many, your children, your children's children, as many unto the Lord's come. And we've got to have faith to believe the word of God. Matthew 4 and 4, it lets us know, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We've got to have the faith to know the word and do be a doer of the word. And what happens sometimes is when something's not going as we think that it should be, we'll end up saying, well, he'll never be. And well, we're saying negative things. The Bible lets us know in Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of your tongue. And we've got to speak life into situations in faith in the name of Jesus. And a lot of times that with the finances going on, we, a lot of us might say that, you know, um, I don't know how I'm gonna make it. My job's not, God is our source. Believe the word of law of the Lord Jesus Christ. It lets us know that my God, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We got to have faith to believe that his word is true. He said that he's going to supply. Father God, I come to you right now. I don't know how, when, or where, but I believe that you are going to supply all of my needs in the name of Jesus. And um, when we think about the word of God, Haggai uh, 2 and 9, it lets us know that the latter, shall be greater and you know we're, we're expecting that greatness i can let you know that uh, a lot of us are going through crisis and we you know we want to say why why but we've got to have faith that the lord everybody has an appointed time i had a tragedy within the last three months i had three close close family members to leave and it was like within two months period, one 
then two, then three. They were gone. And it was like a, a depression coming upon. And um, I, I, I was taught uh, just since I was growing up, I can say five, six, seven, up until the age I am now, to just have faith in God, believe that God knows what he's doing. And I had faith enough after about two weeks to say that, Father God, I trust you. I trust you and I believe you. I believe you. I believe your word. I know your word is true. And when we look at Job, what he had to go through, and not once did he uh, deviate and say the wrong thing. And he decreed, Job uh, 22 and 28 say, Thou should decree a thing and it shall be established. So we, what we're gonna do is decree that we're gonna have peace in the midst of the storms. We're gonna cast all our cares off on him because he cares. Philippians 4 lets us know that be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known and the peace of God should come in. We've got to just develop uh, how to be more faithful, how we can please God more. You know, Sunday school is extremely important. It's teaching and we are learning. And we need to, I'm gonna give you an assignment. If you can write down five things that you're having faith for God for, and it can be, uh, you know, get out of debt. It could be my children come in and serve the Lord. It could be a larger building, you know, for the facilities, uh, what I'm trying to do. We've got to maintain our faith in God. I did mention it, the bigger that you make our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the greater your faith becomes in him. I know what God can do. I, I got a testimony of faith that actually happened to me. Uh, in 1992, I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. And it was about seven people um, that I took, knew uh, that we took chemo and radiation together. And, um, I just had the faith that God was going to heal me. I believed it. I believed it. And I made posters and put them up so I could, when I look, I can look up and quote a scripture. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. My God was wounded for my transgression. His bruised for my iniquity. Chastised men of my pieces upon him. And with his stripes, I'm healed. I have the faith in God that he's gonna heal me. And I had to go through chemo, radiation, no hair, no eyelashes. And it was um, a trying time, but I held on to the faith. My father was a teacher and he taught us since we were young children to learn Bible verses and you know, and you know how you want to look to the situation and look at the doctor's report. But it came into my heart. I will lift my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And I mean, during the, the, the cancer treatments and things, when I would actually go out and it taught me how to be a missionary doing that. I had faith that God was going to, you know, heal me. So I would go out and visit other sick people and uh, witness to them. And, uh, you know, no hair on my head. I had my wig on and they couldn't tell what was going on. But I was doing a ministry for the Lord. And I'd like to let you know, in August of next year, it would be 30 years. I give God all the praise. I give him all the glory. The Lord lets us know in everything, give him thanks. And this is the will of God concerning us. He wants us. He said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I couldn't see myself 
at the time when the doctor was giving me the report. But in the Jesus word, I could see. I remember when the Bible lets us know when Lot and Abram was separating, he told him, look to the you know, to the north, the south, the east, the west, as far as you can see, I give it to you. I saw myself well. I saw myself healed. I saw myself in faith, and I was believing it and declaring it and decreeing it. My dad was uh, Apostle Henry Ross Sr., and he um, used to go to church uh, and pray. And if you can just remember this, he would go 6 a.m., 12 noon, 7 p.m., 6 a.m., 12 noon, 7 p.m., 6 a.m. every day, 12 noon every day, 7 p.m. every evening. And growing up, I was under the impression, well, mm, does it take all of that? But when I became sick and I developed the faith in God, Oh, I, when I pass, I have to pass by his house six in the morning to get to the church. And I let him know, Dad, you're running late. It's a quarter to six. I want to be there on time. You know, God put that faith in me and I just give him the glory. I give him the praise. I am healed. I am delivered. I'm set free by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that he could do it. And I just repeat believe his word. My mom was Sister Essie Ross, and she would tell us about Ananias and Zabiah. And she'd tell us, you know, when you make a vow and don't keep it, she would literally fall like she was, you know, falling out and you were going you know, to die. And I made a vow to the Lord. And it was a song that we used to sing. I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. And I made a vow to the Lord that in faith, I am going to serve you. I am going to live for you. I am going to believe what the word says. I'm going to be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. I give God the glory. I give God the praise. And uh, when I was reading Revelations 2.19, and the Bible says, I know that works in charity and service and faith. And the patience and the works and the last to be more than the first. I just thank God for increasing my faith. Your assignment, Habakkuk 2 and 2 say, write the vision, make it plain, is to write five things that you're going to have faith in God for, that you need faith right now today. And I tell you, as they come along, just check them off. And in all things, he didn't say, uh, you know, for, but in the situation, tell him thanks. I give God the glory and I give God the praise that he is increasing our faith in him. My ultimate goal is to please the Lord. For without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Have faith in God. Get more faith in God. Grow in God. I mean that I, I was going through some of the things and when you, you, you think about um, church service, sometimes it's like um, multiple, multiple, multiple people there and Sunday school and Bible study, where you learn and you, 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 you're being taught, you learn, you can engage, you can get more, begin to develop our faith and be members of the Sunday school. Oh, we give God and I give God praise and thanks for the glorious Griffin. I mean, I, what a woman of God that she's a teacher and she's she has a smile and you know she, she she's smiling in faith that it's going to be okay she's smiling she's teaching us how to just continue to share the word learn the word be doers of the word in faith in the name of Jesus I give God the praise for the people that he put 
in my life. I thank God for uh, Elder Russell that has he, he, he's just helped me to, you know, just come together to make sure that, you know, that we're going to work together as a team and how many people are coming together. And guess what? We got faith that's going to get greater and greater in the name of Jesus. We're going to speak it. We're going to decree it. The Bible says that should decree a thing. We're decreeing our faith shall be increased. Can you agree with me right now? In the name of Jesus, our faith shall be increased. In the name of Jesus, we are developing. We are having more of God to come in us. Romans 13, 14 says, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for none of your flesh to fulfill the lusts of their heart. How many of us want to say, well, I just don't know how. I just don't know when. I can't believe it's going to be just like no. Decree faith. Say the word of God. Just decree. We have five senses. And uh, in Deuteronomy 28, he has us using three of them right away. He said, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the word of the Lord thy God and observe and then do. I mean, when you're doing it, you got faith in it. And then you can do that. Deuteronomy 28 and 12 comes to you. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. The heaven give the rain to your land this your season. He's going to bless you to long to many nations and never have to borrow. He's going to make you the head and not the tail. He's going to make you above only and not beneath. If you can just hearken, listen to the Lord, give a supernatural hearing in faith in Jesus' name and observe, but give a supernatural eyesight in the name of Jesus and give us supernatural abilities to walk in your word, be a doer of your word and smell the sweet savor of Jesus. We're going to use our senses in faith. We will be developing more faith. We will be outstanding men and women of God in faith, in the name, Lord, Jesus Christ. And before I, um, I don't want to go over time because I am uh, a teacher in the word of God. That's not my profession. My dad wanted all, all of us to be teachers and he only got two teachers and I went to be a nurse. But uh, I just thank God that I'm trying to let you know the importance of having faith in God. The importance to just ask him to get put on the shield of faith. When you're going through something, and he gives you Ephesians and six, you know, how to, uh, he says that, you know, that how you have to arm yourself. Guess what? Above all, take the shield of faith so you'll be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. We got to have faith. We got to arm ourselves in faith. And above all, he say, take the shield of faith. We got to wonder what we are thinking. You know, he lets us, and Joshua, he lets us know that what we got to think on, we, what we got to do. And a lot of times we think on the wrong thing. If you think on the wrong thing, guess what will happen? You'll say something fearfully out of faith. You have to learn to cast down imaginations and every thought that present itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of God in faith. In the name of Jesus, we are faithful ambassadors for Christ. Can you bow your heads right now? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we would like to thank you for the assignment that we've been given. We are writing down the five things of faith that we're wanting to see come to pass. And Lord, when we meet again, we shall have all of them checked off in faith. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to thank you for your word. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your word. Lord, we praise you for your word. Lord, we decree your word of faith and your word shall live in us in the name of Jesus. God, we're going to give you all the glory. 
We're giving you all the praise. We're giving you all the honor. And we're going to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It is done. We decree our faith is increased right now and forever. In Jesus' holy name, amen, amen, amen. I'm going to turn it back over to Ella Russell right now. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Mother Voice Brain, for stirring us up and to increase our faith in the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank and praise God you know, for that wonderful uh, word that you have blessed us with uh, this evening. And, um, you know, one of the main reasons why uh, a lot of people don't receive anything from God is because they don't ask him. They don't have enough faith to ask him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. Hallelujah, amen. Jesus. Amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Get your faith up tonight. Hallelujah. Mother Mother Ross has, has has encouraged us to get our faith up. What it is, hallelujah, that you believe in God for. Hallelujah, Jesus. Stop asking for them cars. Stop asking for, you know what I mean, a promotion. There's nothing wrong with that, but ask something. Ask for the impossible. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. The Bible says this, for with God, nothing is impossible. Hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And Paul said it best. Hallelujah. God is able to do exceed and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power. Oh, that we were within us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have faith enough? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. To ask the Lord uh, and believe that he's able to do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, it makes me think of that Roman centurion. Hallelujah. Oh, when the servant, hallelujah, was sick. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he went up to Jesus and said, hallelujah, not worthy. Hallelujah. Come, hallelujah. Oh, to my, to my place. But speak the word only in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And my servant shall be here. Hallelujah. That's what he told Jesus. Speak it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We have any people out there tonight, hallelujah. Or that can say to the Lord, Lord, just speak the word tonight, hallelujah. And I know hallelujah. everything's going to be all right. I know that it's done. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus. When Jesus, hallelujah, you know, died on the cross, he said, it is finished. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, do you have faith, hallelujah, in our Lord and Savior, you know, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus. See, when you have faith in God, just as Mother Ross Waring said, hallelujah, oh, your perception of your circumstance is different. It reminds me, hallelujah, the 12 spies, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that went out to go see, you know, the promised land, 10 came back with a false report. But Joshua and Caleb, hallelujah, have faith in God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Jesus. See, when, you, when your faith is big and, you, and, you, and you're trusting in the word of the Lord, hallelujah, you see things differently, hallelujah. The ten, pie, the, the, the ten spies that brought back the false report, they, uh, hallelujah, they said they saw giants, hallelujah, and they looked like grasshoppers in their sight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But Joshua and Caleb said, hallelujah, they, they, they are bread for us, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They look like pieces of bread, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because they knew that God, hallelujah, was before him, and who can be against him, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, I'm about to get off in a second in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But let me just give you one more illustration of faith. And then I got to go to my boy David in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we fought a Goliath in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Saul, hallelujah, looked at David said, you are but a youth. And this right here is a man of war from his youth. But if you read the scriptures, hallelujah, and I believe it's in the 16th chapter, it says that David was a man of war. But he but he's told Saul, hallelujah, the same faith that I had in God, hallelujah, who delivered me, hallelujah, from the bear and the lion, hallelujah. Oh, the same circumcised, the same uncircumcised Philistine is going to fall, hallelujah, by the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. He didn't have faith in his ability. He had faith in God. I'm going to say that again. David didn't have faith in his ability. He had faith in God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I'll be remiss. How do you not to speak about my four best friends? I got four best friends. Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel. Those are my four best friends. Hallelujah. When, when Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah. Told him to bow. They didn't want. They didn't bow to that to that golden image. Hallelujah! They, and he turned the fiery furnace up seven times harder. And they looked at him and said, "We're not going to bow." Hallelujah! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they told Hallelujah Nebuchadnezzar that Hallelujah the God that we serve Hallelujah is able to deliver us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah Jesus. And, he, and then they said, even if He don't deliver us, we know that He is well able to deliver us. And guess what? We still ain't going to bow. And they threw him Hallelujah in the fiery furnace. Because of their faith in God, hallelujah, they saw, Nebuchadnezzar saw a fourth man, hallelujah. That was our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, walking in the fire in the midst of them. And then when they, when they, when they, and when they delivered them, hallelujah, they, they, they didn't smell like smoke. 
Hallelujah. They want their clothes weren't burnt up or nothing. Hallelujah. See, they have faith in God and no weapon that's formed against you tonight. Oh, we're going to prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My last example I got to give, hallelujah, is, is, with, is with my other best friend, Daniel. Hallelujah. They signed the decree. Hallelujah. And, they, and he knew what, 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 the, what, the, what the consequences was that whoever, hallelujah, prayed to their God was going to be thrown in the lion's den. Hallelujah. But Daniel kept on praying. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just like your, fa just like your father, Mother Ross, when he kept on praying three times a day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He didn't stop praying when they caught him. Hallelujah. Oh, he got thrown into the lion's den. Oh, hallelujah. But when the king, hallelujah, checked on him, hallelujah, Daniel told him that the Lord sent an angel. Oh, hallelujah, to stop. Hallelujah. Oh, the lion's mouth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he was delivered and the mother people that set him up were thrown in him, were, were thrown down in the lions then. Oh, those the, the lions, hallelujah, had Thanksgiving dinner. They had a Thanksgiving feast in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Trust and believe in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have faith. Have faith in God. And if there's ever a time that we need to have faith, that time is now. Hallelujah. In the midst of this pandemic, so many people are walking in fear. Hallelujah. But you can starve fear. Oh, by eating the word of God. I'm going to say that again. You can starve fear by eating the word of God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. But a power. There you go. Go ahead. But a love. love. Power. On a sound mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. I'm stirred up. I'm pumped up and I'm revved up. Hallelujah. I'm full of faith tonight. Full of the word. In and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lady. Hallelujah, Jesus. 12 years. And God let her. She was here. She had to submit, lay down, and touch the hem of his garment. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And he said, according to your faith. Faith. Uh -huh. That's what he said. According to your faith. Hallelujah, you made whole. Hallelujah, Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. There you go. There you go. Well, I done, I done stirred you up tonight. <laughs> hallelujah. Jesus hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Gotta have faith in God. Hallelujah. Gotta have faith in God. Hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus was blind, crying out to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then when Jesus asked him, what, what, what did he want him to do? He said, I want my eyesight. Hallelujah. And Jesus healed him. He was able to see. Hallelujah, Jesus. A blind man who, who was born blind never was able to see before. Oh, hallelujah. But he had faith to ask Jesus, hallelujah. Not for a car, not for a house, not for a spouse. But Lord, I want to be here. I want to have my eyes straight back. And the Lord did it for him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And not only was he able to see his hands, not only was he able to see his feet, but most importantly, he was able to see the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He was able to look upon his face. Hallelujah. And that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. So we can be caught up in the air when he appears in the rapture. So that we can look upon his face in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. I'm living by faith. I'm walking by faith because I want to see Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not walking this faith, living this life of faith for nothing. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. But I want to see Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm, I, I, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I know that he's real. And I'm Amen. reading about him. Hallelujah. But I want to see him Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I see him, hallelujah, I want my Father in heaven to say, well, well done, done. Good good and faithful servant. And to end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I think we're going to close on that note this evening. Hallelujah. Well done, my good and faithful servant. And to end. To the Please joy. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank oh, have you. faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't doubt Hallelujah. him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The songwriter said, you can't make me doubt him. Mm -mm. I know too I much know about too much him. About him. You can't Hallelujah. make me doubt him in my heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. As you can see on the screen, Sunday school is big business. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because you'll be the first to know when we upload new content on this channel. And trust me, we are uploading new content. And trust me, if you if if if, if you just if this is your first time. You can click on a uh, Cool JC International Sunday School Association channel. And you can see all the videos, hallelujah, that we have um, uploaded since last year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord has blessed us. Hallelujah. But it was over a year, hallelujah, of serving the Lord, hallelujah, on his platform. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank and praise God for blessing, hallelujah, this Sunday School YouTube channel. Hallelujah. So don't forget, if you want to watch this video again, you can hit play again. And watch it over and over and over again. Tell your friends and your family about the International Sunday School YouTube channel. And remember, Sunday School is big business. And we are about our father's business, even in the midst of a pandemic.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, have faith in God because Jesus is still in control and Jesus is always in control. Amen. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a good night.